Dana, welcome back to Kay's Place. So, I had a gift card that I got for my birthday. So, I went to Tuesday morning to see what I could pick up. And I found a few things. So, let me show you guys what I picked up. I also ran by Staples. I was looking for some acetate. Um, but I didn't find what I was looking for. But I did find a couple other things. So, let me show you what I picked up at Tuesday morning. I picked up some of the Sticky Thumb by American Crafts. Um, this runs about $1.49 and it works really well. I mean, I haven't had any trouble with the way this sticks. Um, I haven't had any trouble with it holding on anything. So far, it works pretty well. It's a tape runner. Um, it is valued at $4.99. They priced it at $1.49. And the number on these is 199-3350. And I did pick up two of these just so I had an extra one laying around in case I wanted to send it in a swap out to a friend or in case I needed another one. I also saw this by American Crafts. And these are the Sticky Thumb Adhesive Foam Dots. And the number on these is 196-5766. And these were also $1.99. They have 275 pieces. Now, I have big pieces of dimensional foam, but I don't have any of the tiny ones. And these have 165 six, mil, six millimeter by three millimeter pieces. 50, eight millimeter by three millimeter, and 60, 11 millimeter by three millimeter. So, like I said, I thought it was really awesome that somebody, you know, was nice and sent me shopping for my birthday. I love friends. So, then, I found these little, those are kind of like little gift card bags, and they're in craft paper, which will make them really easy to, like, decorate. They were, there's 25 of them in here, and they are by American Crafts. Which is not strange for Tuesday morning. They look like they're pretty thick. They are 3.94 by 2.6 inches. And they're 197.4122. And they were $1.49. And that's what those look like. Let me take one out for you. So, I guess that they are pretty thick. There's two of them. So that's what they look like. I've been looking for a dye that does this, but so far I don't have one. I keep meaning to order one off AliExpress. But, so it's just like the little gift card holder. So, just like that. So until I have a dye, these will just have to work for me and I'll just have to alter them a little. And then, I found some of these. There's 12 treat bags in here, and again, they're the cracked color, which I like because it makes it easier for me to fix them how I want to. These were also $1.49, and they were $197.4124. And does it tell me what size these are? No, oh, it doesn't tell me. And they're a little bit lighter in color. But they're, I mean, they're a decent weight. I mean, they're not real flimsy. So, they're a decent weight. I do have a ruler over here. Hold on a second. Let me see what size these are real fast for you. These are about three and a half inches wide. By, at the tallest, five and a quarter. So about three and a half by five and a quarter. That's a pretty good size. So then I did see some of these adorable pink. It's kind of a pink iridescent pink sequin. And these are a dollar ninety-nine, and the number on those was one nine five eight eight four one. And then they had this color combination which I thought was really interesting. It's kind of a like a 
flat gold, an iridescent, like a clear pink and a blue. Oh, it was a really pretty color combination. I hadn't seen this one before. This is 1958838. I like those colors. Then I did find some of the milk cartons that everybody was talking about. And this one is by Recollections. And this one are this one's red and it's got a red and white polka dot, a solid red, and then a red and white chevron. And I thought these would be adorable for Christmas to send out in Christmas swaps and these were $1.99 and this one is $2,000,323. They also had pink, green, and blue. Pink, green, and blue. Or pink, green, maybe it was yellow. They also have pink, green, yellow, and blue and the red. Then <clears throat> I did find that they had one box left. I was so happy of the um, paper milk cartons in the white and there are 24 pieces in these. There are only 12 of the red. There were 24 of the white and these are 2000328 and these are also $1.99 and these are 3 inches by 3 inches by 5 inches and that is the same size as the red ones as well. And these are just plain white. I was happier to find these because I can embellish these any way I want to. And then by Momenta, I found this little treat box die, which I was really happy to have. I have no box dies. And this one is 2.75 inches by 2.75 inches by 1.25 inches. So, and it was. 1972 1972024 So, found that. So then I ran into Staples real quick because like I said I was looking for some vellum because I had some Staples rewards that I had to use by the 5th of July or something they sent me an email or by the 10th of July, they send me an email every month and they're like, you have Staples rewards and they expire on. So if you go to Staples, you might want to make sure if you're a rewards member that you check those emails they send you because they will send you emails that tell you monthly, like on a quarterly basis every, I think it's three times in, three times a year, four times a year, that you have rewards that expire at a certain point that you have to use. So... I had rewards I had to use, so I went into Staples, knew they had some school stuff, figured I'd look around and see what they had. So, they had these cute little pencil boxes for a dollar. So I picked these up because I had seen Sherry on Craft Play Repeat do a, during our embellishment swap. She had actually packaged up die cuts in these little pencil boxes. And I thought whether I was sending die cuts or whether I was sending um, stamped images, these little pencil boxes would be great to decorate up with stickers or ribbon or flowers or paper on this side or whatever and send die cuts or stamped images in. So I picked up two of the pink ones. I like the pink. And I picked up one of the just clear ones. Because I really thought with the just clear one that I could put a piece of paper in the bottom and kind of decorate it up a little bit. So that was kind of cute. Then I'm kind of wanting to do a unicorn swap. This is the only one they had that wasn't completely horrible. Sorry, I'm blinding you all. Um, these were a dollar a piece as well. It's a zip top pouch that's 5.3 inches by 10.19 inches. And it was, um, it just unzips. And she also had sent me my die cuts in this. And I thought that was a wonderful idea for, like I said, die cuts and stamped images. So I went ahead and picked this up because I thought this would be so cute in my unicorn swap to possibly send out die cuts or images in that. 
and then while well, I was shopping, I love rulers. And they had this adorable ruler, and I just could not pass it up. Again, I think it was like a dollar. Is that not the cutest ruler? And actually, the reason I got it is because I stink at measuring things, and the beginning of this ruler has the one eighth, three eighths, one half, five eighths, three quarters, and three fourths, and seven eighths of an inch at the beginning of the ruler. And those are the measurements I always have such a hard time with if I'm measuring something that's under an inch long. So I wanted to grab it because of that. And it was so adorable. Aren't those the cutest little sloths? So cute. And it's a pretty sturdy little plastic ruler. And it's got a little thing I can hang it up near my desk. So then I was looking at the folders and just on my way out. And you know, I mean folders are kind of sturdy. I mean it's not the thickest, it's not like 65 pound cardstock or anything. But it's I mean I could back it with some 65 pound cardstock and it would be pretty sturdy. But this print was so cute. It was with the mermaid folders, and I just thought it was so pretty. Look at that iridescent print on there. So cute. So I thought this would be cute to do some die cutting out of. So I went ahead and picked it up because it gives you a pretty good surface area to be able to do some die cuts with. I mean, all in all, you've got, let's see here, 12. Eighteen by almost eighteen by twelve inches, plus those two little flaps that you can die cut out of. So it's a pretty good amount of space, even if you are going to back it in cardstock. And then I saw this. Look at that mirrored. So this is an iridescent folder and it was in, they didn't have a gold, they just had this iridescent and I haven't taken it out of the package yet to see how actual sturdy it is. I didn't want to mess it up. So it does have a sticker on it so that may be a little challenging but that's pretty thick. It's kind of a plasticky material. So it would be good to make a die cut out of. And it is again a decent size. You have a decent amount of you have a decent amount of um, real estate to work with here. Probably about the same amount. Probably about 18 about 18 by 12 Plus the, and these flaps on the inside might actually be just a little bit bigger. So if you're taking it apart and breaking it down to do die cutting out of. So, and it's the prettiest iridescent. So, I mean, I'd recommend definitely keeping it inside of its protective sheet of paper because it would definitely scratch which is probably why they kept all of them inside the protective sheets of paper. There was not one of these that was not inside of its protective sheet of paper. And I'm sure that's because they would scratch all up and nobody would want them, so. Yeah, I thought that was a decent, and I think these were $2 a piece. So it wasn't too bad, and I just thought it'd be neat to try. And then, I always, if I'm sitting up watching YouTube at night or something, I don't have a pop socket on my phone. And my phone has like a um, little holder, but it doesn't work very well. So I've got these little things that stick to the back of my phone. And I used to have, a, I have a pink pig is what I have now. And that's all they used to have. Well, now they have multi animals. So this one's a little turtle. Is that not adorable? I saw it and could not resist. I think they're $2 a piece. So this is a little turtle. And this one is a little white sheep. It's supposed to be a little sheep. 
It's that not so cute, it's so cute. It's a close little white sheet. And you just, it just sucks your cups to the back of your phone and then it's little legs hold your phone up. But it's just so cute. But I love the little turtle. And the little sheep was just so stinking cute. So I picked those up too. So that was everything that I picked up with my rewards and my birthday money. So I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. I can't remember what day it is. I've got some crafting to do. I cleaned all morning. So I hope you guys, like I said, are having a great Tuesday. If you have any comments or questions about anything that I picked up in the video, please comment below and I'll be happy to chat with you. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.